This video is part of the series promoting the sustainable use of medical oxygen. Today we introduce the pressure reduction station. After the oxygen is vaporized, its pressure needs to be controlled. A pressure reduction station is used for this purpose. The station must be able to reduce the pressure of the gas and ensure the required flow to the hospital. To do this, it uses a pressure regulating valve in conjunction with other devices that we will now show you. The regulating valve can have either one or two pressure gauges. When it has one, the gauge indicates the pressure set for the hospital network. When it has two pressure gauges, the one on the left measures the pressure of the evaporator circuit, which is higher, while the one on the right measures the lower pressure provided for the network's operation. In the design shown here, the station uses pressure regulating valves with a single pressure gauge. In this case, the station uses a separate manometer to measure the oxygen pressure in the vaporizer circuit. A pressure reduction station provides pressure appropriate for equipment such as mechanical pulmonary ventilation devices, anesthesia machines, flowmeters, and nebulizers. It is the station that ensures stable pressure in the network and provides the flow that the hospital requires. From this point on, the oxygen is ready to be distributed throughout the hospital. This will be the subject of our next video. If you have questions, you can contact the Peho Technical Group on oxygen at gto2 at peho.org. Thank you for watching this video through to the end.